Thanks for staying with us. A warning tonight to be careful who you trust with your funds. You may realize that you don't know people as well as you as you think you do. We have the story of a man who was a lay bishop in the Mormon church who persuaded friends, family, and even his own mother and church members to trust him with their money. But it all turned out to be a big scam. A 2006 Aston Martin conjuring up images of James Bond, Van Gogh's Rembrandt's, rows and rows of artwork, and a baseball collection that includes signatures from Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, and Babe Ruth. They were all seized from the home of Sean Merriman, who ran a Ponzi scheme for more than 15 years and stole more than $20 million from his investors. Postal inspectors say Merriman initially wanted to start a legitimate investment firm, but things quickly went south. Early on, he made some poor business decisions with trades, some bad trades, and got himself upside down and started, I think, to recognize how he had control of this investor's money and he could do whatever he wanted with it. What Sean Merriman apparently wanted was the good life. He started taking money from investors, spending it on trips all over the world, including safaris, trips to Europe and using it for his own personal gain. More than 70 friends, family, and members of his church invested more than $20 million over 15 years. He kept sending statements to his clients, advising them of their earnings, and their statements said that they were earning. They were earning within the range that he had represented, the 7 to 10%. So no one was really the wiser as to what was really going on. We put in initially 50000 and and... Um, went up to $110,000 finally. Tim Gilmartin was one of those investors. He heard about Merriman through a classic car restoration club. Tim and his wife invested more than $50,000 with Merriman, and they were stunned to hear it was all gone. It's a big shock. I was numb. We heard that he never invested a penny. And Sean Merriman pleaded guilty, and he was sentenced to 12 years in prison.